How to mine cryptocurrency on low-end PC. What is the best cryptocurrency to mine with a low-end PC? Which cryptocurrency is the best to mine with a low-end PC? You need to give it a second thought. Hello friends, and welcome back to Crypto World. So, we're back here again, and without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. But before that, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and click the bell icon to watch all of our latest videos. Exactly how does Bitcoin mining work? Bitcoin mining is the process by which new Bitcoins are created. One of the most important aspects of blockchain upkeep and development is how transactions are confirmed on the network. The term mining refers to the process of solving a difficult computational arithmetic problem using high-tech equipment. Once the first machine has solved the puzzle and obtained the next block of Bitcoins, the process is restarted. It takes a lot of time, money, and effort to mine cryptocurrencies. Because miners receive crypto tokens in exchange for their efforts, mining has attracted a sizable number of cryptocurrency investors. Entrepreneurs in places like California may have viewed mining as a divine gift. Miners are rewarded with Bitcoin for their efforts in validating and monitoring Bitcoin transactions, which is the primary goal of mining. A decentralized cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, is not regulated by a central bank or government, as many people around the world share these responsibilities because of the lack of a central authority. Read this explanation first to see if mining is right for you before you invest your time and money therein. In general, we use Bitcoin with a capital B and Bitcoins with a lowercase b to refer to individual tokens on the network. What is the purpose of Bitcoin miners? Mining is the term used to describe the computational work that nodes in the blockchain network perform in order to earn additional tokens. As it stands, miners are being compensated for their role as auditors. Bitcoin transactions must be verified as legitimate by these individuals. The creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, came up with the idea for this rule, which aims to keep Bitcoin users honest. Transactions are validated by miners in order to prevent double spending. Double spending occurs when a Bitcoin user spends the same Bitcoin twice. Requirements for a cryptocurrency mining system. Computers of all kinds can be used to play games. Windows is the most user-friendly operating system. Mining is difficult on Mac OS X. Using Linux, you're probably better at mining than us. The method by which you access the internet is entirely up to you. Even if your connection is only capable of 100 megabits a second, you still need to ensure that it is stable. You can connect via cable, Wi-Fi, or a USB port. Using desktop computers for mining. Having at least 6 GB of RAM and a powerful graphics card are the only requirements. NVIDIA's 1060 6 GB and AMD's RX 480 8 GB are the most affordable graphics cards that can be used for mining, respectively. There are those who believe that PCs are unsuitable for mining because of the risk of damage to the graphics card and other components, as well as voiding the manufacturer's warranty. Mining on a rig and mining on a PC are completely interchangeable. Both computers share the same motherboard, processor, OS, hard drive, and graphics card. In a standard PC, only one graphics card can be used, but in a miner's machine, there are six to eight or even more graphics cards, as opposed to just one, and the chassis is left open with a few fans for additional cooling. Using your GPU for mining instead of gaming does not void your GPU's warranty, which is typically good for two years. Mining on a laptop. Things are starting to get back to normal. When mining on your laptop, you'll want to make sure it's well ventilated. The components of a laptop are close to one another in a compact chassis. Whenever a graphics card overheats, the rest of the system follows suit. You can count on them to fail at some point. To learn more about your Bitcoin wallet, follow these steps. This is a crucial point in the process. You need to understand that in a crypto world, you face the entire world. If you misplace your wallet, no one will help you. It's as bad as losing money to lose a Bitcoin wallet. In some cases, you may be able to get your money back, but with Bitcoin, that is impossible. First things first, let's set up your Coinami wallet. Neither your personal information nor your identification is required in this process. India's Guide to Profitable Bitcoin Mining Founded in 2009, crypto assets have grown into a multi-billion dollar industry. 
Investing in Bitcoin has become a viable option for many people. Miners may find it difficult to make a living as online sellers and buyers, but there are advantages to this line of work as well. Creating, spending, and verifying transactions are all steps in the process of using Bitcoin as a currency. Bitcoin mining is the process of obtaining new Bitcoins while simultaneously verifying the validity of previously made transactions. Founded in 2009, the digital world of crypto assets is now the economic elephant in the room. Bitcoin trading has become a popular choice for investors looking for a secure medium of exchange. Despite the disadvantages, working as a miner and selling and buying businesses online can be a lucrative career. By watching our videos, you can learn how to mine Bitcoin and on your own computer at your own pace. An Introduction to Bitcoin Mining Bitcoin mining is the process of extracting Bitcoins from a computer using the term Bitcoin mining. Using nice hash, you can sell your computer's processing power to cryptocurrency miners. You can earn Bitcoin by joining mining pools and using your computer's processing power in a group effort. The process is simple. As soon as your gaming PC has been set up, follow the instructions below to begin mining crypto. Actually, it's selling your PC's hardware. Just in case your NiceHash account is hacked, you can transfer all of your earnings to a wallet of your choosing once you've reached the minimum Bitcoin amount required to make a transfer from NiceHash. Additionally, you might consider investing in an offline wallet that stores all of the information necessary to access your money. How to prepare your PC for mining Even though NiceHash can be set up and left running for years, it's better to tweak it a little to get the most out of your GPU without consuming too much power. If we can reduce our usage without sacrificing performance, we can make more money. When it comes to fine-tuning GPU parameters like clock speed and power, MSI Afterburner is the tool of choice. A laptop or PC can be used for mining if the mining machinery is powerful enough to handle and solve complex computational problems. The following are some things you should know before you begin mining Bitcoin. Receive Bitcoins by verifying Bitcoin transactions through the authentication procedure, which is what Bitcoin mining entails. The Bitcoin network relies on these transactions for security, and the newly created Bitcoins that miners produce as a result are used to pay them. If you're not familiar with the cryptocurrency world, this is a way for you to earn Bitcoin by helping to verify transaction data. In order to determine whether or not Bitcoin mining is viable, a number of factors must be taken into account. Mining difficulty is a factor that affects how much electricity is needed to run the computer system, as well as how much it costs to rent or lease the computer system itself. There is a direct correlation between the number and power of Bitcoin mining machines and the price of Bitcoin. Most of India's problems stem from a high cost of electricity and an unfavorable climate throughout the year. Different types of Bitcoin mining The most important part of the mining process is the creation of Bitcoin. Types of Cryptocurrency Mining Bitcoin mining hardware is the most significant component in the mining process. A variety of Bitcoin mining devices have been used by users over time. Many different types of hardware and software are used to mine Bitcoins, from the most basic CPUs and GPUs to the most advanced FPGAs and ASICs and everything in between. Users could use their computer CPUs to mine Bitcoin in early versions of the software. As the network hash rate increased, the number of Bitcoins produced by CPU mining fell below the cost of operating a CPU. CPU mining has become unprofitable since GPU mining has been introduced. That's why it's no longer available through your default interface in the main Bitcoin client. GPU mining is faster and more enjoyable than CPU mining. And this concludes our video. So I think we're at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. And if you have any questions or queries on your mind, let me know in the comment box and also check out our channel where you'll find more really cool stuff.